Okay, so what we're gonna be doing today is we're quickly gonna be zeroing a couple of optics. And um, to do that, what I've done is taken my cheek piece off and removed the bolt from the rifle. So we're quickly gonna bore sight this. And then I'll show you guys just how I get my rifle zeroed in as little time as possible. So first of all, what I want to do is look down the bore, find the middle of the target and position my rear bag that the rifle stays in place. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to dial the turrets until I sort of get a, a middle ground um, before we'll fire our first shot. So let's go do that now. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me show you what I've done. So our target's over there at 20 meters. Um, then what I've done is I've zeroed the scope. Let me just focus this in. Uh, so that's the scope zeroed onto the middle of the target as best as I can. And then what I've done is I've bore sighted it. There we go. So I've sort of lined that up with that and that should get us in the game. So now that we've lined up everything um, to start off with, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this back, uh, bolt back, and um, put my cheek piece back on. Let's not bark, Lilos. Sorry, brought the dog with today. Uh, So let's get some ear pro going. Okay, and load up some, some rounds. Okay, so this first one should be on the paper. So there's already shots on this target. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the first one on the top left and see how it goes. Okay, so we are on the paper. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold my rifle in the exact same place. I'm gonna hold the rifle exactly where I held for that shot. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dial the turrets so I get the crosshair to line up with the shot. That's the easiest way to really get a rifle zone in fast um, instead of just trying to do it like this are you a movie star yes we're doing some shooting we're gonna do some hunting later okay okay bye um, let's bring your dog to the range day today okay so now what I'm gonna do hold the same hold be very careful not to move the rifle and then dial my optic until I get to the hole Okay, so now I'm gonna send another one. And um, I'm gonna send another one and I should hit pretty close to the bullseye on um, on the top uh, right, on the top right target. Okay. So uh, what we're going to be doing now is just get a solid zero at 100 meters um, with the PST and with the Viper 6.5 by 20. And um, the way I'm doing it is actually quite cool. And what I really love about the phone scope is it gives me the ability, even though this scope is only on max power at 15, let me show you what I'm able to do with this phone scope. It's a pretty cool setup. So my targets are all the way out there, but right next to my shooting point, I am using my Razer HD spotting scope and I've got a crystal clear picture of those targets right next to me. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's do some shooting. So we should be in the ballpark at 100 based on left target, top right.
So now in the phone scope, I can actually see where I was hitting, and I actually hit quite high, but the windage is pretty good. So all I do now is the same trick we did just now, where we dial to the point of impact while holding the rifle in the same spot. I'm gonna get a higher bag for this is bias to wear. So that should almost do it. So let's send another one and go left target, right, top right, diamond. Are you phone scoping? So guys, it's a bit of a bummer. Lily ran into the spotting scope at the end there and we didn't get the last hit on paper. But I think you should have a relatively good idea of how to get a quick zero uh, at 100 meters. I wasn't too worried about trying to get a one hole group because I was shooting really cheap ammo through, through my 223 Remington. So it was never gonna group at a one hole group. So I'm not too stressed about that. Um, basically all I do, bore sight on the page at 20 meters, dial over to the hole, rinse and repeat at 100 and you should be able to get a good zero in five or six shots. Um, the, yeah, if you were very observant, you would have seen I had two different optics in the video series. I actually had this Gen 2 PST on the rifle at the end, but the video starts with the normal Viper on there. So I zeroed both of those optics on, on my 223 Hauer. And uh, the reason for that is we're gonna be doing some interesting stuff with this coming up. Now you might say, why do you spend the time to zero this if you're gonna take it off? And you like lose your zero. Well, that's one of the things we'll be testing out to see how much your zero will be affected by taking it on and off. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope this saves you some ammo in the future or just simplifies the process. Um, I find this is the easiest way for me. So I thought I'd share that tip with you guys. The video is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but uh, I think it does a good job of explaining how I personally zero my rifles. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.